How's it going everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to use SyncToy from Microsoft. So if you look on Microsoft's website, you search for SyncToy 2.1, you'll see that SyncToy is a free application that synchronizes files and folders between locations. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this for a local backup to backup to my network attached storage server. So after you download it, make sure you get 64-bit or 32-bit if you have a 32-bit operating system. And once you install it, I want you to run it. And you should see this screen right here. So the first thing you want to do is create a new folder pair. And SyncToy um, copies from left to right, just so you're aware. So the left folder is going to be the files that I already have. And I'm going to look under um, my documents, under libraries. And I'm going to choose to synchronize my documents with my backup folder. So in my computer, I went ahead and created a backup folder already. And I created another folder inside there named documents. So. Well, when I synchronize, it's going to go from my user documents to my backup documents. Now you have three different choices here, and here's a short explanation. Okay, so this is if you change one or the other, um, it'll repeat it on the other folder. Echo. Okay, so this back up, backs up from left to right. Um, renames and deletes on the left are repeated on the right. Okay, so what it does is anything that changes in the left folder will also change in the right folder. And then the one that I like is contribute because only new and updated files are copied left to right and renames on the left are repeated on the right but not deletions so what this means is as you accumulate files and delete them and change them they're all going to be saved to the right folder and if you accidentally delete something or you could swear that you used to have a file that you no longer do chances are it's going to be in your right folder if you use contribute um, because they're not going to be deleted in the right folder so that's what I'm going to go ahead and do and I'm just going to name this my documents and then finish. Um, if you want to add more, you can create more folder pairs such as your pictures, um, your music, and your videos. But for this example, I'm just going to show you this one pair. Um, you don't have to run it now, but if you want to, you can. And you can see that um, it completed because I don't have that many folder uh, files in my documents. So now I'm going to show you how to run SyncToy automatically because this is a cool tool, except for the fact that you have to remember to log into or to to run it and then run your synchronized synchronized folders every single day or once a month or once a week or however often you want to do it and that gets to be a lot of work so I'm going to show you how to do it automatically so what we're going to do is open the start menu and we're going to search for task schedule scheduler and then we're going to create a a new basic task right here under action create basic task and we're going to name this uh, automatically backup files. Now for the trigger we want it to happen daily. Um, we're gonna have it recur every day and here's where you pick the day it starts. I'll just leave it on today's date and then the time and I'm gonna go ahead and pick noon because my computer is most likely to be on at noon 
And for you, um, you can choose whatever time you think that your computer is going to run or be on, and it's not going to be a, a problem for this task to run. Okay, so now you need to choose your action, and the action is going to be we're going to start a program. So, if you look in our instructions here, um, you can either copy uh, this exactly, or you can just browse to your computer. And this is my main C drive. I'm going into program files, not 80, not times 86. And then just going into sync toy and if you look here we're going to do uh, sync toy cmd dot exe so this is the one hit open and for arguments you're going to do dash capital r and that's going to run all of your sync toy folder pairs if you just want to run one, what you want to do is add in quotes and just whatever the whatever you name the sync pair, yeah, put it in quotes, and then it'll just run only one. But I want them to run all, so I'm going to leave it under R. Okay, everything looks good. I click finish, and then if you go into task scheduler library. You can see sync toys right here has not been run but when it does run this is where you're going to check last run result it'll say succeeded successfully um, and it'll also tell you um, a couple of other things that you want to know and if you go into properties here's where you can make some additional changes sorry um, you can add more triggers if you want more than just it to run every day at noon. Maybe you want it to um, run on a schedule when you log in, at startup, um, pick an event. Um, so this is a little bit more complicated, but you can add another trigger if you like. And then um, you just want to check it, like I said. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, you guys post a comment if you have any questions. Thanks.